free energy calculator can provide simulation inputs for both absolute and relative free energy of solvation. The previous video showed how to generate absolute free energy calculation inputs with absolute ligand solvator. In this video, we'll show how to use relative ligand solvator to generate inputs to calculate relative solvation free energies of a given set of ligand pairs. To start, go to Input Generator and find Relative Ligand Solvator in the Free Energy Calculator submenu. This module can provide inputs for NAMD, AMBER, and Genesis. OpenMM support is currently under development. When it is available, you will need to download and install the Transformato package from GitHub. In this demo, we'll upload a single SDF file containing 36 ligands. You can obtain this file by clicking the link in the video transcript. CharmGUI currently provides two predefined perturbation path options. The first is the closed minimal perturbation path using the results of hierarchical clustering and a similarity score matrix. The other option is a radial perturbation path. In this path, each node, or line, represents a ligand, and each edge, or dot, represents a linkage between ligand pairs. The minimal perturbation path is a set of closed loops joined by the most similar ligand pairs and the radial path contains a link between one central ligand and each of the others. The central ligand is whatever structure is uploaded first. We uploaded an SDF file containing multiple ligands, so the first ligand in the file becomes the central ligand. In this demo, we want to use the minimal perturbation path, so we select it and click Next. When Relative Ligand Solvator finishes reading the ligand structures, you can see the results of hierarchical clustering by clicking here. In this image, darker colors indicate greater similarity between a pair of ligands. In the image to the right is the predefined morph set, and below is the resulting list of ligand pairs or morphs. If you are unsatisfied with a particular ligand pair, you can manually change it by selecting a different ligand in the drop-down menu. You can also add a ligand pair with the Add Morph Pair button, and remove a pair by clicking that pair's minus button. You can also see the ligand names associated with each number by clicking the Check Ligand Name button. You can view the ligand structure by clicking the ligand name in this list. Please note that relative free energy calculation between two ligands with different net charges is not allowed. Thus, no path is suggested between ligands with different net charges. If you want to see the exact similarity score calculated for a ligand pair, you can click the Similarity Score Matrix button. This window shows the similarity score for all possible pairs. If you click on a score, you can also see a side-by-side -side comparison of the two corresponding structures. As with Absolute Ligand Solvator, you must set the water box edge distance, counter ion type for charged ligands, and temperature before proceeding. You must also click the force field checker button to ensure that your ligands can be generated by CGEN FF or Amber Force Fields if you choose the Amber TI, and choose one or more programs to run your simulations. Note that because we have a large number of ligands, it will take several minutes to verify ligand force field generation. Finally, we can generate simulation inputs by clicking Next. After several minutes, we can download our project files and see the simulation instructions. In the downloaded project archive, you can find each ligand morph system inputs. Finally, please read the README file to see an example simulation running script.